What's up everybody, it's boy Creepy here. Today I'm playing a game called The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Now, before we get into this video, uh, just before I boot up the game, um, this game does deal with heavy topics that some people might be uncomfortable with, so if you are just very sensitive to this kind of stuff, I would recommend just not watching this video. Alright, now I've got that out of the way, I kind of want to just get this started, so let's get into it. My dear Nicole. Oh, the click, okay. That's different. That says something different. Alright, I'm gonna read the um the joint hang writing first or the cursive, depending where we're from. Uh you are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful and smart and Um I shouldn't have done this. So I say tall? I thought I would have said fall, but we might say tall, I don't know. Um, we've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said after your, your speech at high school graduation. Faced with a dragon, one must uh, brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. Um... I always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenge challenges uh, is capable of um, um, brandishing man this is <laughs> all the weapons necessary to fight uh, courageously and heroically I never talked about what happened with your father and that says Leonard I think but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm moving. All oh, right. Okay. Seems like we're at a funeral. Oh, dear. Okay, the affairs your father had with that young woman nine years ago, and he's in swing, and and her, her, his, I think her in swing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. That your father has. Oh man. Um, your father had. S if you can read that, fair play, but I can't. Uh, betrayed our trust. And that she had done the, the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, you sobbed at, at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when. Okay, before. Before we go on to the next page. You kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985. Merged against abortion in your first year of college. Duncan was a good kid, but even if I've never said that so before, I immediately thought it. I thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. And it says the exact same as the bottom. Okay. What's going on here? Whose funeral are we at? I'm so curious. What's going on here? I never thought... Uh, Sage? Rage, right, okay. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to induce pain. I don't, I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be... Oh, lad. Free from the past, okay. Once and for all. That, that is why I wanted... This, that is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel and sit the same at the bottom. The hotel is my family's, and you are entitled to it. Go back, go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in 
Elena, uh, Mr. Jenkins, uh, to give you this little letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. Take this. Uh, take a quick inspection. Sign the papers. Sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girls. To the girl's family? No, give the rest to the girl and family. Let's end this story once and for all. Same at the bottom. We've always been there. Uh, yeah, we've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my, my grandchild, my grandchildren's birth. But that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use your love. Use yours to love. Okay. I misread that horribly. There's nothing else the there's nothing else worthy there's nothing else worth living for. Fighting for f fighting for or dying for, believe me. I love you above all else, your mother. It's June twenty fourth, nineteen ninety one. Are we at my father's or mother's funeral. I, I'm just assuming, I don't know. That is loud. I can't hear myself think. Yeah, it is a funeral. It is a funeral. Oh. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. Helena. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clark County? Mel, it's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Alright, this is a very slow sensitivity. Um, I'm just, I just turned it up a little bit more. Um, mom's car. Um, hmm. So I'm supposed to go through there, but I just want to have a quick look. Okay, just want to have a quick look around. Uh, oh, a bottle. That's a cool bottle there. Alright. Go on in here. Hello? No, can't go in, okay. That's fine. Okay. Alright, I have to go through this door. Uh Okay, there is a check-in, reception, hall, and locker room. Okay. The attorney Ooh. said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. What's that about? Huh? Me in! Okay, whatever. Okay, there's a phone ringing. Don't know if there's anything in there. Hello? Hello? Whose phone's ringing? Oh, it's mine, actually. <laughs> Where is it? Please. 
Mr. McGrath. Hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy Bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? Oh, look at a burger. Okay, space you can also zoom in with. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. I want to look at the pen. Okay. Cool. I, okay, Matt. Where are we going again? Dining room, I think he said. Where am I? Uh, Mr. Jenkins said he left the management key in the master suite. Where the fuck's that? Uh, oh, I think it's upstairs. Cool. Right. I don't know where upstairs is. I don't even know where I am on that map. Oh. Pretty creep, man. Storage, right? Okay, storage, storage, storage. And maybe down? Garage. Oh, hang on. Okay, no, I'm off this floor. Offices. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Open. 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 Okay. Uh huh. It's not. It's not really too much. Hello. Actually, no. There'll be awfulest ones here. Yeah, I'm right there. That's good to know. I just left the offices. Cool. Where am I going? Shh. Wait, creaking. Wait. It. Uh. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, mushroom. Nice. That's a very nice mushroom. Bear. There's a bear. Oh, and uh, sheep. It's a nice picture of sheep. I like. Uh, yeah, that's probably where to go. I want to have a quick look over here. The ballroom. The ballroom. How did I get over there? Oh my god, that map's so confusing. It's not helping me at all. Oh, Can I open? No. No. Oh, okay. Uh, just. Can I call any of the phones? No. Oh, no. Okay. Let's go on upstairs then. Back upstairs. And. Uh, we'll, um. Whatchamacallit? Let's see. Where to go? Did I just hear a noise? Okay, so the master suite is that way. I want to look upstairs. Again. Hello? Telephone. Ah. Uh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, let's just go back downstairs. Go to the master suite. Bro. I think it's the creak of the, um, the boards. I think that's what it is. Sounds like a little. Eh. 
That's all it sounds like. Is it in here? I'll look in there in a second. Hello, mannequin. Doing alright? I think the mannequin's okay. Now flush the toilet, come on, let me flush. Let me flush. Okay, I won't. Good face. Huh. Oh. It's supposed to be like cold gate. Air cone. And brush. Nice bathtub. It's a little stained. A little. Okay. Nice little area. I suppose I have to keep going this way. Considering I can't open up any other doors. That's a massive suite. Magazine. World music. Okay. Uh, what was that? Pack of cigarettes. Okay. Uh, anything here? No. No. Okay. I'm just going this way then. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I don't like it. World music. The future is in new color. Okay. Nice. Oh, bear! Nice. I like. Oh, that was not cleaned properly. Um, medicines. Oh, God. Someone had a filthy curry. Jesus. I think there's a cat litter. There's a load of Leonard's pills. There's a load of them. Um. Okay. Good face again. I'm not gonna look at it. What's that say? Uh, inside your brain. Um. Uh, sponge. Okay. Cleaner. Okay. Not really much to say about them. Where is it? Where did he say he left the keys? He didn't say. Oh, oops. He didn't say where he left them. He just said he's in this room. <sighs> Book. Uh, a a creation? A creation? Power in astrophysics? I I don't know. I can't read big words. Uh, journal. Uh, relati relativity. And uh, relativistic, relativistic <laughs> astrophysics. You know, I, I, I'm not made for big words. String theory. See, these are words I can read. Okay. Um. Uh, ah, uh, Leonard, Pear, Nicole, Dad, Mom, me. Am I? I'm assuming this one's me, Nicole. Hi. No, I can't. Um. Oh, calculations. Uh, no, I'm not reading. Pen. Nice pen. Uh. Okay. I. Okay, it has to be somewhere over here, maybe. Oh, it's the key. Okay. What's it? Little pest picks. Okay. Um. Leonard's book. I can't read that, man. It's tiny. Uh, music box. Okay. Okay, it's still creaking. Great. Love it. I call this how many? What the hell is that? What the hell is that noise? I don't know, I don't like no me gusta. What's this? Oh, pull over weed. Nice. Christmas tree. My room, my rules. Ooh, guitar! 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 Everything's here exactly space, the but... same as when me and mom left ten years ago. It's so... <sighs> Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. I hear a heartbeat. Old friend. 
Okay. Radio. Victims in the last three days. The snow plows are ready, but we are waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to that we will be possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition for stockpiles of fuel. Construction refrain from going outside unless isolated reports of return at home. It looks like she had phases. So like uh it was a unicorn phase, then like music phase, and then space phase. And then um that's more space. Uh more space. What's this? Maybe she got into sports. She got into sports, yeah yeah. Okay, I saw the mixtape down. I saw VHS as well. Okay. Um why is it called a strange telephone, man? This is the okay. manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Okay. Uh, bass guitar. You still play? Ooh, a skateboard. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Okay. Where's management? <laughs> Jesus, that phone's ringing. Hello. What is this? A joke? Hello. Hello. C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, uh this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Oh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware that... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I... You... I... Bye. Okay. Uh, management. Point of management. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. Uh, I don't like the game that just told me that I can run now. I don't like that. I've no one I can run, but God. There is there anyone else in the hotel with me? Oh I hope not. Oh I fucking hope not. Okay. We on edge for the rest of this. Oh, ballroom. Was I able to come in here all this time? Uh I don't know. I can't remember, but um let's have a quick look around. Where am I supposed to be? I'm in the ballroom. Uh what's this din coming from the overlook? What where's the overlook? Oh, I have to go back off. Ugh. Alright. Oops. Alright. We'll have a quick look though. Alcohol. Very nice. Just stay very grand for a while. Be very good. Uh, damn! You fucking hitting that move. Oh, chandelier fell. Huh. Uh, stack. I don't know, before we go there, what's this? Uh, this is the restroom, fire, yeah, fireplace room. Okay. Music sheets. Only thoughts. Okay. Ah, uh, how do I go 
please return. Oh, a picture. Huh. That's nice. It's a crack in the wall. Uh. Rest. Okay, so this is like a huge circle I'm about to do. Okay. That's fine. Huge circle. Ah, men. Dig. What do you mean? What do you mean dig? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? Vandals. Okay. What's this? What's that about? The women's. Oh, at least they have mirrors. It's foggy though. Uh, okay. Oh hell no! Please don't turn upside down. You can stay there, just don't turn upside down. That's all I ask. Okay? That's all I ask. There's more paintings on the wall. Uh, this room's open. Sort of. Uh, oh, this is a nice little area. A little cozy. I don't like the outside storm though. I don't like it. Very. It's making me uncomfortable. Okay. Where does this lead? Where am I? Oh, right. So if I come out. Ah! I know where I am. Oh hell no, what the fuck? Is this an arcade room? Oh, sick! I don't know if you guys can see, it's very hard for me to see. But there's a dartboard. Oh, this is awesome! That's so cool! Alright. I like, I like. I'm gonna go back this way. They go up here. Go over here to the left. But okay. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. Close that shit. Or try to self in it. One of the two. One of the, they will work. Oh god. Where am I off to? Where am I off to? Oh, laundry. anything in here? Am I just like doing pointless exploring? I don't know what I'm doing. What I, I kind of do. I... Am I in the boiler room? Damn! How the hell did I manage to get here? I meant to be upstairs, but yes. I'm downstairs. Oh my god. <sighs> all right, all right. I'm going even further down. Oh my god! Oh, wait. I came through. Yeah, I came through this door. I didn't see this door before. Okay. 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 I you wanna go back. I'm gonna go back in here. Some doors are locked from one side. And then some doors are locked from the other side. Okay. Go through this way. Where the hell am I off to? Well, I'm in a mine now. I don't know how, why, where I am. 
Where is this leading me? What the hell was that? Oh, I'm in church. Okay. Church now. That's nice. Okay. We'll go back. Because I don't want to get too far. You know, too far lost. Is this the. Is this what I think it is? This is the locker room. Oh, that's why I can't go. Uh, I wasn't really looking. Okay, that's locked off. With a chain. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Uh, is this? Oh, right. Okay. There's one other area I want to check before I end up, you know, heading off. Which is over in this side. I never really looked. Oh, I fucking hate you. Can I close? You can close, that's fine. It's not illegal. You're just scaring me. Uh, let's check over here. Kitchen. Dad's office. Okay. Damn. Okay. We'll close that. Not really anything. Check this. And last thing we'll check is Okay, we've been here. Boom. Boom. What's this about though? This is who's that shit? Uh actually I wanna get out. I wanna get out. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. At least we can get out. I'm not really seeing much. Oh my god! This is wrestling my brain! Alright, go. Alright, upstairs. Upstairs. up here. Oh my god. Alright. There truly isn't anything up here now. What where, where where is this leading me? Wait. Oh master it's we here. Nice. Now I need to go to the overlook, which is uh, I was just at the overlook. Oh my god! Okay, I'm back in the overlook. Uh, oh, oh, what's this? I saw you, bitch. There isn't anything in here. Great, great. Overlook, port. Hello? Hey, y you still there? Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah! Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Uh, uh the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. 
Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, obviously no. No, I was thinking of jogging into town. Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen, if your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again, thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with... 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... Uh, to, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What right. can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. Okay. So halfway through that phone call, I actually had to leave. I don't remember anything about that conversation. So, what am I doing? Take back the car and get away he from here before the storm arrives. Okay. Downstairs. Downstairs. Uh, this way. A minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Okay. Hey. <sighs> Through these doors and through those doors, then. Uh, wait, no, is it these doors? Yes, these doors. And then we take that. Not that door, not that door, but the next one. Nope. There. Yeah, this door. <laughs> Hello, car. Where's the wheel? Yeah, this side. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh huh. Oh yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone. <sighs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing, or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. Damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, fine. Uh-oh. Is someone else in the building with me? I have to open the garage door. Hope it's working. Oh, God damn it. How do I close it? Do I press M? I do, okay. I assume it's on by this door. Has to be, right? Yeah. Here we go. Shit. That's loud! Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look. I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. Uh, that name. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. What the fuck am I doing? Hmm. Not sure now. Guess we'll just walk around. <laughs> Hello? Oh, fuck. Oh, hello? Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. 
It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. Uh... I can't believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. Yeah. Um, I want to see if I can go to bed. Oh. Day one. Oh. Where am I? Oh, I'm here, right. I get it. Ah! Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, I just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I, I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. Right, the main power. That was... Uh... I don't fucking know. Oh. Irving, it's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure, you'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Right. This. There's an empty axe stand. I don't know if that was always empty. But I don't like that. There's a missing axe. Pink jar. Hmm. Irving. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. Jesus. What a way to lighten the mood. Alright, button, 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 button. Or, Wait. I can't report the fucking bus. There we go. How's it going? It looks real... complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess. What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like 220? Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing, just talking to an old friend. 
<laughs> Alright, use. You alright? And here he is, in tip top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right, the furnace is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Yippity, no shadow time. Yippity. Ah, <sighs> where's the bathroom? Oh, what you want now? Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it. Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. All right, bedtime. Bedtime. I thought I was gonna go for a shower. Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey! Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I... From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room, with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone, here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for, um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, then. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Night. Let me use it! Yeah! Day two. Oh. Hello. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? Uh. Like a rock. It's up like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. <sighs> so. Any news? Uh, uh, what? Is the situation on the roads any better? Just, uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shut-eye last night, and... Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something, and... But, I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? Um, uh, yeah, primary needs. <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm going to eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. I could eat like a horse. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Beans for five days. Oh no, is my game glitched? Oh, I think my game's glitched. Okay, so this is what I was supposed it's to see. Like it glitched. Rock. Okay. I forgot my bed was so comfy. So, um... So? 
Yeah. Use? I will wait for this to end, and we'll find a pantry. What? Okay. So I just got off the call with that fella. Now, the kitchen. Where's the kitchen? Through here, probably. Nicole? Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. Uh, yeah. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. At an ant farm. For a while I had an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. Huh. Yeah, that's nothing. Where is, am I in the pantry? Uh, where am I going? Search for food in the kitchen area. Okay, let's go to the kitchen then. Where's the kitchen? Uh, uh which one's the kitchen? This one. Right? Ah, you can eat the bowls and cups. They're fine, probably. Um, hmm. We'll have a look at the freezer in a minute. Oh. Oh. Jesus. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. There's a fucking apple. Look at the size of that apple, man. It's huge. Okay, yeah, let's go to the freezer. Where's the freezer? Uh, here. Uh... There's some things. Hmm. Oh, here. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, you kidding? Hello? Oh shit. Oh shit. Who locked me in? Oh. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't I can close. tell. What? Oh. It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. Um. Right. Uh. Microwave. <laughs> microwaving the beans in a tin can. That's smart, isn't it? Uh. We'll throw it in. Yay. Soup in a tin can. Hmm. Oven. Ooh. Make a gourmet dish. Um. Hmm. Can't really do much but wait. Can I read? You, you actually can. I'm not gonna read it. I don't wanna. Hmm. What am I doing now? Just waiting. I think that's just the game. <sighs> you done? Can I crouch? I don't think so. Hey, it's done. Give me my B 
beans, my soup. Oh, you're supposed to microwave it. Ah, it says two minute microwave on it. Uh huh. Yummy. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. Uh, when's he getting here? About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. Uh, I'll finish the inspection. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Okay. Yay, time to start keeping shit. Ah, <sighs> what am I doing? Uh, inspect the second floor first. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't want all these books. Can I keep the bass guitar? I, I don't know. <sighs> um. Am I supposed to look in here? Uh. News? I'm not surprised the academic world distanced itself from Leonard. Why'd you say that? Magic in the stars? Life beyond life? The physics of the impossible? You heard of them? There's no need to. No, but stars are stars. When you die, you're dead. And if it's physically proven, then it can't be impossible. <laughs> uh, don't get offended, but I didn't understand a thing. I understand that things can be proven. That's how I was raised. By Leonard, I mean. He was a man of science. And science has a method. Oh, maybe he was searching for a new point of view. <sighs> yeah, sure. Tell that to the treatment of quantum conscience that he never finished writing. I catch your drift. Yeah, I want to see what this is oh, about. Oh, look at that! I thought I lost you that time the Thompson girl came to play. Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well... Maybe better that way. Hey. Uh. Hmm. Hello? Is it because I ran into it? No. Oh my. Why is that close? Oh my. Okay. Cool. Yippee. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? There's someone else here. There's someone else here. Oh my. Jesus. Oh my god. This is a second. Oh. I'm so dumb. I thought that was the second floor. Alright. We'll start off this way. I'm so stupid. Ah. Uh. Okay. Is there anything here I need? Want to keep toilet paper? Hey, I, I, I can use that. I can use the toilet paper. Wipe my booty cheeks. Um. Okay. Not really seeing much in here. Okay. Cool. There's someone else here. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah. 
There's a missing window. How? How? Is someone just stealing windows? Cancelled. Hmm. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Sealed door. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? You there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me the truth. Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known? How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Okay, I just wanted... There is noises. I don't like it. Stop. Hello? Where is that? Who's calling? Fox, you want? Yeah. Hello? Who is this? I don't understand. What? What did you say? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. Fuck you. What? You think you can call my house and threaten me? Come tell me to my face, asshole! I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Severely. Hello, uh, sorry, goodbye. Um. I, oh my god, I'm on edge. I just fucked up. I just fucked up. So badly. Oh my god. Hello, 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 hello. Are you hello? pissed at me? Uh, I, I got a different problem. I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? I, no idea. It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. You do that? I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. Okay. I think I get it. Almost. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Okay. Nice. Um. Oh. Why did I look at the Indian vase? Whatever. Day three.
Was there a father who called me? Hello? Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? And died. Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Uh. Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. The electricity generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Uh, that's it? That's it? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. Oh, great. I'd of course have to leave the entire area. There is something here. Someone or something here. Oh, God. It's dark. Okay. There's something or someone here. I don't like that. I'm on edge. Where's the closet? Uh, e no. What? Where the hell? In his. Uh. Do I have to go to his office? I think I have to go to his office. Where's his office? I don't know. It's somewhere downstairs. Oh my fucking god. Jesus. Christ. Financial records, fine. Have a look at this. The office is a mess. Well, I don't think running a hotel is easy. Especially for Leonard. <laughs> Especially if your head's in the clouds like Leonard's. Everyone's got limits. He said that keeping track of bills was like looking backwards. I see. You graduated college? Yeah, went to Pacific. Why? You majored in... Business. Ever think about helping? Who? Leonard. He wasn't even interested in keeping in touch. Why should I have helped him? My mistake. Sorry. Um, where am I going? Must enter the crawl space in the first floor staff area. Where the hell is that? Where the hell is that? Uh, office. Storage. I should never look back here. <sighs> oh, um, that's so dumb. Um, I think it might be. If I come over here. Oh. I wonder what that was weird. It might be this. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Might be that. I don't know. Can't be. I saw a staff area earlier. Okay, I decided to brighten up the game a bit. So it's easier to see. Uh private okay it might be this doubt it where the hell am i going i haven't been up here okay I'll, i'm gonna brighten up a bit more okay brightness is at a hundred right now um uh, lost and found Hell. Sorry if this looks weird. 
it's at full brightness. Oh my god. Hello. I don't like that. Oh, flashlight. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. Now, bring this ship back down to 50. There we go. Oh, crawl space. I found the crawl space and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? Uh. I don't remember, I don't so remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up. Wow. She's call He's calling me fat. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, I'm back here. Indian base. Indian base. Cool. You're bringing the ship back out. Okay. Oh, you can barely see. I don't like it. How do I get in? I'm back in the crawl space. Oh, okay. So my game bugged out. And Any I news? restart. I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Oh, smart. You can try. I had one just like this when I was 16. Leonard gave it to me. Maybe it's the same one. No way. I broke mine hiking on Hogback Mountain. I cried all day with Leonard insisting it was only an instrument used to capture images. He said, you keep the really important ones inside. Can't say he was wrong. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Okay. Let's give it a try. This is a horror game. Hell no. Fuck that. Okay. Now we got the flashlight. It's still not working. I don't understand. Why is it not working? Hey. Okay. Almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. The crawl space? I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No, but I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Oh my god. So I had to look it up online because I had no idea what to do. I, had to, I get that dialogue and then I can open. Oh Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. That was going to be a full on cutscene, not just a quick one. That's so frustrating. What was that noise? Hello. Shit. What's wrong? Your prophecy came true. The power went out. It's completely dark. Pitch black. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way. Otherwise, who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sort of. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Yeah. Easy. Does it. Come on. Come on, I'm there. 
Come on. Open. For fuck's sake. I'm here. You're pissing me off now. Come on. Oh, look. Oh, cables. Oh, look. Oh, wow. I'm so great. There we go. Jesus. Okay. We're on through now. And pull that. Lipstick. What's that say? Red doll. Uh, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. What's a lipstick doing here? It's... a... lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Cut the crap. A lipstick here is totally out of place. Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well... Yeah. You're probably right. Leveler. Yeah. Why did that open? A4. Okay. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sort of. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. Um, okay. What is going on here? Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. Look at it this way. I've always had a secret passion for Sherlock Holmes. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Hmm. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. 
Uh, I know. It's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay. Well, I'll hear you out. Hmm. That's interesting. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Huh. Yeah, that was the official version. Okay. What am I doing? Something's not right in Rachel's story. I have to investigate the clues and let it shed light. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, hmm. This is just a beginning, lousy pedophile. Beware. Shutting yourself into your growth stand between mountains will not protect you. You will pay for what you've done. Oh. Leonard. What have you done, man? Oh my. What the fuck has he done? I didn't see these before. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Priests always made me nervous. Them and their invisible boss. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Okay, so let's do the lipstick. Or the book, whatever one comes first. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... No way. From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved it? Possibly. Anything else? The book. The book. No one show up there. That'd be perfect. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or Rachel is sad. Or... Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But, 
Sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. I don't... I don't know if it was Leonard. Um... At all. But... This is starting... This is starting to become very interesting. What the fuck? Hey, uh, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Daddy, I missed you so much. Their light is alive, and it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet pea. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 What the hell? Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Half a serving. The other half ended up in the trash. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it, it's VHS of the behind-the-scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's, it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. Stop 
fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it, too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear, I... Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. That fan scared me. Right, don't go here. There's also another crawl space. I should probably have a look at Uh. I'm gonna leave if I leave this way. It brings me somewhere. I don't know where this somewhere leads me. But uh, by God, I'll tell you one thing for certain. Where am I? Hello? Where am I? Oh, a shortcut. Nice. Now there's another way over here. Um, I want to go through. Uh, what's this about? Anything hidden in here? Because why else would it be here? Ah, oh, on the other side of this. Hey, gotcha. Okay, there's another crawl space I want to go into as well. Which is downstairs. I don't know where it's gonna lead me. Might lead me to the second floor. Actually, that's a very good possibility to lead me to the second floor. Okay. Don't know what that was about. Honestly, don't care. Right, come on in. Go on in. Go on in. Uh. Oh, this is the second floor. No, 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 go this way, go this way. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a broken door over there. Okay. There's another one that led upstairs. Fuck was that? Oh god. I don't like this. I don't like this. Come on. Just just bring me to 117. 117. Is off this way. Actually I haven't I haven't been over this way. How how have I never been over here? Um, okay, we'll go there. We'll, have, we'll do that in a second. I just don't want to miss anything. Fucking dickheads. Oh, I'm so dumb. I could have came over here. Alright, it took a really long way. Okay, great. So stupid. Okay, what am I reporting? Hey! I found the room. But? But someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but oh my uh, God. I don't remember where. I did see one. Probably in the basement. Seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. 
Oh my god, I did see one. Oh my god, where was it? I remember specifically looking at it like, oh, screwdriver. But no, now I have to forget. Oh my god. I think she gave me a right idea, or a general idea, I mean. I actually haven't been over here. Okay, cool. Um, oh my god, how could I fucking forget? Alright, downstairs we go. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? It sounded so natural. Awesome actors, I'll give them that. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. You're saying prayer brings good luck? I doubt Reverend Foster would agree. A screwdriver. I'm out of here. I found it. Yes! Found a screwdriver. I found it. I found it. Let me go back upstairs. What's that noise? Sounds like wind chimes. Are oh, you freaking me out? Whoever is doing that, or whatever is doing that, you're doing a good job for freaking me out. I'm uncomfortable. I, I don't. What is that noise? It's annoying. It's annoying me. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, great. Uh, I stopped. Yay. Okay. Let's find out what's in this room. This is screwdriver. Hello. Um, cigarettes. So, uh, what was it called? A microphone. Huh. Ooh. Oh, that's a Rachel. Rachel. Ra um, it's called a Rachel. That's a uh, Rachel. VHS. <laughs> Uh, video recorder. Okay. Um, what else? What else is, I mean, hmm. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Let's check the room and uh, and the equipment those dumbasses left. Okay. Hello, is anyone here? Hello. How much do you know about those TV shows, the ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Ugh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. Milk. <sighs> hmm. Ooh. Shut up a sec. 
There's that noise again in the headphones. Sounds like someone is talking to themselves. I see you smoking a great stuff. Did you see his face? He's missing a couple screws. <laughs> it sounds like a woman's voice. A girl. What the? I'll bet living alone in a place like this all winter, you can't help but go nuts. <laughs> so depressing. Danny, did you get rid of the interference? Fuck, I pay you to do your job, not jerk around. Fuck off, Stan. What do you think I'm doing? It's a mess here. Nothing's working. There's voices. Listen, Danny, cut the crap. I'm going to go have a sip, and if you don't figure it out by the time I'm done... Ah! What the fuck are you doing? I shot that thing! Well, you're not taking it. No, I mean for real! What? Huh? What the... No, I can't! I'm telling you! What do you guys say? It looks more like a... Like a, a oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, 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 God! Yeah, I'm telling you! Oh, shit! No! I can't find the keys! Oh, God! It was over there. Just look at the camera. It was pointing to it there, and you can see the door. So, whatever it was, it was over there. The door slammed shut. Jesus. <laughs> Hello? You wanna talk to me? Well, you have a good day then. Can I talk to your man? What's his name again? Uh. Uh. Um. Do. You... Oh my shit! I'm just gonna keep looking around, maybe. Oh god! <laughs> that was a bug. The hell? Hey! <gasps> For Dickhead! For say, Irving! Oh, Irving. Uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Yeah, he's not. Day seven. Oh, it's Christmas! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle my balls. In your face. Oh, what fun it is to jiggle my balls in your big sloppy face. Hey! Okay. Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go! I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thank Thanks. You. you always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. You've never met? I've never met, Irving. I can't even picture your face. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> Am I sharpening my knives? What tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. He's you right. Think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. <laughs> I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. 
You, yeah, you hitting on me this entire game, man? Irving, are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you? I mean, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. <laughs> oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. <sighs> Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, okay. Um. I don't know what this clinking is. I'm gonna get this out. Hello? Oh. Fucking, I'm... Um, I'm gonna punch someone. It's so loud. I, I I wanted to tell you something. Not now. I heard a sound. Something familiar. Listen, I've had this in my head for a while. I, I don't know. I, I seem to sense a sort of chemistry. You Are you something? trying to tell me something, Irving? Something Irving? embarrassing, maybe? I can understand that you can't stand the side of the Timberline. Not even on a postcard, but... But for me, this is important. It's given me the You've chance to You've been a lot of help, and I'm happy you're here, but right now I need to figure this out. Sorry. But somehow, it would be nice if, after this whole thing, we could meet in person, have a drink. I mean, if I'm going too fast, just say no, so probably... Irving! I know it's ridiculous to ask out someone you've never even seen, but people get close in lots of ways. Please! Shh! Sec. Okay, okay, maybe I crossed the line. Sorry, I'm a klutz sometimes and- Irving, please shut the fuck up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this. But now just give me time to figure out where the sound is coming from. I'll call you back. I... Sure. Sorry. Even I don't know. Okay, I'm reporting to Carrie. You think I can have Mom's car taken away? Sure. Uh, we'll send up a tow truck. What's it still doing there? I'd rather not go into it. It was her choice. I understand. And this guy, Leonard's bike. I don't know where this clinky's coming from. Found anything interesting? Leonard's motorcycle is one of those things that I should maybe take before the sale. Oh, I love bikes. What's the make? It's a Su-400 single-cylinder two-stroke. Wow. You seem to know what you're talking about. Leonard and I took it apart and put it back together like 200 times, I think. You should keep it as a keepsake. I spent the last 10 years trying to eliminate every possible memory, and now I'm supposed to keep one that even requires me paying insurance? Well, it doesn't sound so bad. Insurance on memories. I think I'll sell it to some collector. Uh, if you want, I know a few in Livingston. Oh, thanks. No sweat. I'm going. Later. 
Uh, I'm assuming I'm following the sound. This? Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Maybe you're right. Who knows, but it seems so similar to how I remember it. Hey, don't think about it anymore. If it comes back, we'll try and figure it out. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again, and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Okay. Okay, it's not directional anymore. Oh! <laughs> it's Christmas! Hey! Christmas Day! Where am I? Am I in church? Oh. I'm in church. Why am I in church? Oh. What, what, what's going on? I don't have my stuff. How did I get here? I'm going back to bed. Going back to bed. I don't like it here. Fuck you. Oh god. I think you hear a few rats or mice. Maybe, I don't know. Uh. No? Where am I? I'm just gonna go up. It doesn't matter where that up leads me. Just up. This way, this way, sure. I'll go this way. I don't know what the fuck this leads me. Where am I going actually? Uh, I don't know. Stop. This way, okay. We'll go this way. This is out into the dining area. Then, we go upstairs. It's a bed. That's where I'm going. Going straight to bed. I don't know what that uh, text was over there. Or unless I'm just seeing things, I don't know. Um. Oh my god. Come on, Edge. Won't even let me press N. Go to math. Right, bedtime. Bedtime. Um. Merry Christmas. Wait, what am I doing? I don't know. I play the base. Oh, inventory. Here we go. Irving. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho ho ho. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to. Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think I sleepwalked. 
Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, uh... Irving? Yeah? I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. Oh. That's, uh... Do anything unlocked for her? Um... Alright, I'm gonna have to try to remember to get back to the church now. Great. Because I really wanted to be there. So ecstatic. Hello? Uh, hi. Uh, I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. Uh, so you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all Ecky. right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Okay, let's report. Okay. Are you gonna report that? You practicing for the church choir now? You heard that? I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. Okay, okay. Sacred image. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. Why is there a sleeping bag? Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. Goddamn sons of... Ugh. I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Ugh. Okay, okay. Yeah, baseball bat, whack him. Nikki? 
When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end, round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, all that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How... it's... I... I... Wow. A total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I... yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Nothing's coming to my mind, but I'm playing the organ. Or we just hit a few notes. Wanna play the organ in a church in the middle of the night? Really? Yes. Hey, what are you doing there? Dunno, I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. Ooh, horror. You think it's too horror? The church, the organ, the notes reverberating in the dark? It's been years since anyone played it. <sighs> My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you. To play it. In Portland. Never learned. I couldn't play even if I wanted to. I never learned. I don't think playing the organ is a crucial thing these days. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. Oh. Oh, hello. Is this giving me the answer to the riddle? <gasps> oh my god! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, snow! I might have found it! Yeah! Open, 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 open! Um Okay, it just says retard. What is this about? Oh shit. So found the mystery decorations? Yeah No, no well, not decorations. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I it's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's... Like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. 
Wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room. A, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. Rapunzel. Snow White. Little Red Riding Hood. Sleeping Beauty, okay. Why does it just say retired? So out of place. Did you get out of there? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't... Let me go on. Okay, and there's a key. Breadcrumb. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. You have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No, I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Okay. Right. I know where the music box is. We're going to get the music box. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're going to say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Why? Why? Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out. With the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen, a bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a dead line. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years. And now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place and there's no one. If it's true... You realize what that means? What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there. In total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that! I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Okay. Whatever the fuck is going on, this shit's weird. Can I please use it? 
Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Oh, finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay. Let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. Maybe if I think through my steps, I can work something out. First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then, the lipstick from ten years ago turns up, still good. And then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff, is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Right. Some freaky shit is definitely going on. Let's listen to this then. Am I gonna open it? Yes. Small metal. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here, and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Hmm. Oh, day nine. Hello. Talking to you again. Avery Irving. Irving. I couldn't remember your name. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's gotta be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? 
I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Where's that? Uh, the mezzanine in the middle. Huh? Where's that? In the middle, uh, better things find their proper position. What? Um, I changed floors again. I don't remember. There we go. Q and A. Oh right, first floor or main floor? Oops. Keep hitting that. Main floor. So all the way down. All the way down. I keep hearing noises. Quit fucking making noises. Where's that room? The mezzanine, whatever it's called. I was to look at the map. Am I in the mezzanine? Okay, uh... Okay, I think she says something about a storeroom anyways. So a storeroom around this area. Oh my god. Is this it? Please? Oh hell no. What the fuck? What? In the fuck? Hi, how are we? Well, how's it going? How's it going now? Uh, uh, get out of the way. Uh, how's it going? Excuse me? Oh. Mannequin. Mannequin's going crazy. Irving. Irving. Irving? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine. Is he? It's a nightmare. Is it Irving? There's mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. Th th there's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed but why my hockey stick oh yeah she was nine weeks hello? pregnant hello oh, God, he killed he her irving i swear i'm not kidding this is a huge deal if you can hear me it's time to make that phone call oh fuck he killed her didn't he irving He's here. Hello, Irving. Where are you, Nicole? <sighs> it's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What? Are you... Are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving. Um. What's high? Okay, upstairs. Um. Irving? But are those new? I I think those are new. I think those are new. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh, Irving killed her. Quick! Uh uh. No uh. Uh. I knew there was something up with him early on. I knew it. Was that knocked over? Was that knocked over before? Hello? 
Irving. I know you're here. Hello. Oh my god. He was here the entire time. Found my room. Yeah. What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do, what man? I know what you did, Irving. but... What'd you These say it? walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. Clinky. You. Jenkins. You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me. What I do? I, I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We... did it for years. Day... after day... after day. Lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. His father. Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. It's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry. At night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful luminous creature met someone a human being that saw her for real my dad yes and I was the invisible witness of what happened a love simply a love nothing more nothing less but that love was too much and it would be punished who paid for this love Nicole Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just 
jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going. To get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that was close before. Okay, we'll go on in. Happily. Happily go on in. Hello. Hi. Oh shit. Um you wanna have a quick game of chess? No. Um Oh my god, what is all of this? I noticed a few things I overlooked just there. Um I'll come back to it. Uh, okay. Quick look at these pictures. Okay. I can't take the key. I think I have to look at this first. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light. In death, I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo, so. How are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good.
figure out what Rachel is saying, Nikki. She's here. Murderer. Ah. Uh -huh. Why did it just say murderer? Oh. I just saw those as well. Um. Guess I only have one way to go. I don't know where I'm going. Inside Claire's car. Who's Claire? Um. Oh my god. I can only assume it's the mother. Alright. Hello? Oh god. Okay. This is not good. Okay. I find out the Nikki part freaks me out on the tape recorder. Freak the living shit out of me. Oh. Right. Alright. I'm good. Um, I was wondering what do you want? Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father. But I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to the story. Then shut up and let me do it. It's time you open the last door. Okay. Don't you dare be a body. Um. What's in this blanket? Washer, washer, what? Okay. Um. Okay, I'll happily wash it. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Where is the kitchen? I notice a. Well, uh, washing machine somewhere. Don't remember where. Oh, I found it. Perfect. Right in here. Oh, there was a fast way to get there. Okay, cool. Here, wash it. How do I wash it? In sink. That works. What is it? What is it? What do I have?
The game's bugged again. Ah! Oh, there we go. Okay. I have to replay all of that. What's that? Oh. How could I have forgotten? I. I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. That's blood. The kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Missoula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No, I, I don't. Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... <laughs> I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk. Rolled in the blanket. God. Oh, my God. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. Plus, she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is... Is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... We can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but... All the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. 
That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. What? Irving, where are you? It's wide as far as the eye can see, beyond the mountains. You... you left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll... you'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... and go back... to her. Don't... don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my... tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. In another time. Beyond this horizon of events, everything is... Irving? Irving? He's gone. I, I don't want to stay alone here. I... I... Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Ah, who's there? Hello? Rachel? Is that you? Where? 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 Oh? Oh, what's going on? Get the phone. Hello? Yes? Nicole, it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You sure you Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Wait a sec, let's talk. Oh, there's also my fee. What am I doing? You know, Mom, oh. I was thinking about going to the lake. Um, remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about oh no. stars. You can't see them during the day. Oh no. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? Oh. It'd be so nice. I know what she's about to do. Together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I know exactly what she's doing. If I'm not mistaken, that's hooked up to the exhaust. I have no choice. I have no choice. Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. Oh my god. Do I have to? Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm yeah, scared. Yeah, please. No, 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 let me out. 
I don't have a choice. I actually don't have a choice in this. Okay. You... I... Don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. Oh. <coughs> turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. you daddy mom we'll bring back the timberline to its fortune together we will be happy again all together yes <clears throat> like a whole family <gasps> no more anger that's the game oh wow That was a experience, let's say that much. So that was Suicide of Rachel Foster. That was an experience. That was a very fun game. You know, I, did, I actually didn't see the twist of the mother being the killer coming. That is something I never just saw. I thought it was, um, I keep forgetting his name. Iver, Iver, Ivery, Ivering, 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 I don't know. Whatever that guy's name is. I thought it was him who did it. Such a weird name that I just can't remember. But um, I hope you enjoyed this very long video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.